dollar industry and the second largest criminal activity in the world talking about children being forced into prostitution today some oklahomans listen to a heartbreaking account of human trafficking in hopes of stopping it Kirsten McIntyre tells us more about their crusade. Well, Kelly, there was a conference today, and that conference brought out about 200 people. They came from churches, law enforcement, and social services, all there to learn about this growing problem from people who've experienced it themselves. I get email after email after email from women 18 to 65 that said, me too. Teresa Flora's story isn't easy to hear. But it's one these folks will never forget. She describes herself as a rich girl living in the suburbs when at age 15 she was date raped. A couple days later I produced a packet of uh, pictures and um, the guys that he was in this group with said you know you'll earn these back or else. For the next two years Teresa was forced to have sex with hundreds of men. She now travels the country telling her story. She's even written a book in hopes of helping others better understand the issue. So it's really um, a movement about re-educating people um, that prostitution of a child is human trafficking and it's slavery. Well, I think they, they think it happens with foreign national victims. They also think there has to be movement. Um, there does not have to be movement. Christy Childs is also a survivor of human trafficking. At age 12, she ran away from home and spent the next 24 years as a prostitute. When I escaped, I knew I was a victim, and I knew it wasn't my fault, and I wanted to bring out the truth of my experience and educate the public on what I had experienced. It's unbelievable to think that humans could be a product. Mark Elam is director for Oklahomans Against Trafficking of Humans. He says Oklahoma's highways makes the state a prime location for trafficking. They come into Oklahoma through I-35 or I-40 going east to west, and we are what's considered a pipeline. State. We've always had lots of problems with drug trafficking and now we're realizing with human trafficking as well. And I'm told America is now the number one destination for child sex trafficking in the world. Kelly? It's incredible. All right, Kirsten. If you'd like to learn more about the movement to stop human trafficking in Oklahoma, go to news9.com and look under links mentioned.